Happy Eid from the Muslim Faith Act Fellows. Eid al-Adha, or the Festival of the Sacrifice, will begin Friday the 25th and go through the 29th. It is a religious holiday celebrated by Muslims worldwide to commemorate the sacrifice made by Prophet Abraham when God asked him to sacrifice that which was most dear, his son Ismail. This holiday is a reminder of Abraham's willingness to submit himself absolutely to the will of God. Eid al-Adha falls during the month of Hajj, or the pilgrimage Muslims make to Mecca once in their lives. Eid is usually celebrated by prayer, spending time with friends and family, and giving to the less fortunate. It is with great pleasure that I share the Eid greetings with the rest of the community involved in multi-faith action and malaria eradication efforts, as it reminds me of a time when I saw families in Mali sacrifice possessions they had while preparing for Eid in hopes of making it a special day for their family, buying gifts, making clothes for their children, and distributing meat in the community. This experience added much significance to a holiday that I normally celebrate with my family in the U.S. Before recording this video, I asked friends and family from various faith traditions what they are thankful for and what prayer they would make for the world. Some of the answers I received were peace on earth, food for the hungry, and global health. The next question I plan to ask is, how can we be a part of this and get closer to those goals? As a Faith Sacked Fellow celebrating Eid, I want to remind you of the importance of remembering and sacrificing for the betterment of our local and global community, whether it be our time, efforts, or wealth. A lovely gift for Eid for families vulnerable to malaria would be the purchase of a bed net in honor of a friend or family member, or to invite contacts to get familiar with the global effort to eradicate malaria by 2015 and get them involved. And as a celebration of a story which appears in the Jewish and Christian scriptures as well as the Quran, it is a reminder of what the three Abrahamic faiths have in common and should therefore be a spur to work even harder for better mutual understanding. May the feast bring happiness and joy to all those celebrating it. 